Hey everyone and welcome to Tabletop Obscure presents the Breakford Incident for Savage World Supers. Session 3! How is everyone? I know we literally kind of just went through this, but hey. As my players frantically d delete all the drawings they were making. Mm. <laughs> was it um, me? I could definitely go back to the drawings. I'm considering taking away their drawing privileges. What? If you do, I walk. <laughs> <laughs> the fridge, I'm just thirsty. <laughs> or maybe for a snack, I'm not sure yet. Hmm. I'm good. But no, how's everyone's week been? Or since last session? Well, good, I had a long weekend. I think everyone had a long weekend. Most people anyway. Mm -hmm. I had a very long weekend. I had yeah. a long weekend. Yeah, see? Good More stuff. Not a long weekend. I had work yesterday. Everybody <laughs> wanted burgers. It oh. was a pain. Yeah, no, I worked yesterday as well. But, holiday pay, so can't argue with that. I got double time. Double time? Nice. I got time and a half, because, you know, I'm on that award. But... Who remembers what happened last week? Punched a guy real good. You did punch a guy real good. So good. Everyone else was a coward. A cowardly coward? I had a random person break into my unit. <laughs> I mean, no, same she guy. In. She just oh, walked in. Broke the door. <clears throat> really, it's your fault for having weak doors. Right? Who has a weak door? I don't know. Maybe I should complain to the unit manager. The landlord? The landlord, yeah, that <laughs> one. Complain to Estrada. Watch as yeah. they don't do anything. They yeah. complain profusely when you change the color of the walls. Yeah. Oh man, what if that guy that we beat up was the landlord? <laughs> Just fell through the roof. Spoilers! Be... Hey guys! That would be phenomenal. <laughs> But yeah, no, after, um, having- He just wanted his rent for the week. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah, right, that works too. But, after, um, having a little bit of a situation, and realizing that some of, well, all of you are manifesting, um, strange new abilities. Except for one of you, who's completely normal in every way, except for having spontaneous blackouts every now and again. That sucks. But, after uh, one of your fellow flatmates, well, one of the people who live upstairs, who may or may not be the landlord, fell through the floor, uh, well, Hestia beat the ever-living hell out of him. <laughs> I mean, he broke his own floor, so it's his fault, really. I mean, it's it's true. Nick. Do we still... Nick. What? Do I have to take away the drone privileges? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell that it's me. I mean, I absolutely can. Oh yeah, we have names <laughs> attached to these things, don't we? <laughs> you absolutely do. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> but yes. What if that's my secret phrase to change? Thankfully, it's not. Not yet. Oh god. Whose character is this? <sighs> See what I gotta put up with? Anyway. But beyond that, you had a reasonably good time. I mean. In particular, Bo, you had a spectacular performance. Heck yeah. And they want you to come back. Uh, Ira, so. you've been doing some interesting hacking. And have gotten some even more interesting information. Yeah. She, uh, she'd be getting those robots. And Lee, you went to university. 
and had a fever and then not had a fever. Yeah, I didn't have that great a day. And then my door got broken. And you passed out for like a good 10-20 minutes. I know. How weird is that? Fucking buck wild, my dude. But, as that evening grew to a close, uh, various things started to trend on various social medias under the hashtag of what's your power. Of people around the world showing off their brand new superpowers to various degrees. I think Bo was going to be getting in on that as well. But I'm mm -hmm. not 100% sure. But that's pretty much where we'll open it back up. With everyone in the evening deciding what to do. Something of a stressful day, but you know, with other people getting their powers, an opportunity for you guys to experiment and start working with your own. Oh no, I don't have powers. I'm just getting much better at my illusions and stuff. <laughs> so someone's in denial? Well, he might be a little bit. I mean, the invisibility is a bit... A bit beyond his... Um... You know, magician tricks, so... A little bit inquisitive. Year is going through some weird menopause. <laughs> Bullshit. I'm sad that I don't have powers. I mean, nothing's been confirmed yet. It's not like everyone manifests all at the same time. You know what? Good good point. I'll probably spend the evening attempting to have powers. And how are you doing that? Mostly by pointing my like hand at the wall and being like, ha <laughs> Nothing happens. Yeah, no little will happen. Kara's like, um, you, you keep it up, sweetie. Did, did you oh, get no. any powers? No. Have you tried? She kind of points to the wall and goes, Hiya! And nothing happens. Man. We are the two unluckiest people. I mean, not everyone who was involved got powers. I mean, Bo didn't get anything, neither did Ero. I'm pretty sure Bo already had superpowers. I mean, yeah. I mean, he is a pretty good magician. Yeah. So, like, magic powers, right? I mean... And the other one's a hacker, isn't she? I mean, I guess. They're, essentially, they're already superpowers. I mean, I'm really argumentative lately. It, is that a... Okay, so you got you got good at arguments, and Maybe I got really good at studying. Is that your superpower? <laughs> so far, I've had a fever and a blackout, so I think I just got an illness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I think power. I think you should probably go to the doctor, hun. Yeah. At least get someone to look into it. Maybe get one of those in-house doctors. Ooh. Doctor to your door. Yeah. They both bill. Oh, nice. I'm gonna be real, I thought you said Dr. Tudor, and I was like, <laughs> no, who is that? Dr. Tudor, they both bill. So, Excellent. we don't, we're on Medicare, so we don't have to pay anything. Also, rich. Because, you know, we're in Australia, it's great. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's weird that you had to clarify that, huh? I know, but, right? Like, canonically, yeah, we live in Australia. It's funny how things like work out like that. Mm-hmm. I bet I can draw on this screen, too. But, Lee. Hey. Give me a spirit roll. That is a five. Well, eventually the two of you kind of settle in to watch some TV for the night before going to bed. Oh, yeah. There's some news reports showing of some of the flashier people with the flashier powers doing things. We, we make a game out of making fun of them. Yeah. Which is fair. But it's as you kind of point at the TV at one point and kind of go, oh look, I have superpowers. That a little spark of flame actually comes out. 
Han, did you see that? Um, I, I did see that. Hmm. Uh, also, well, give me a notice check as well. Notice. That is a two. Yeah, no, you're good. Cool, 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 cool. So maybe I'm like a spocker boy. It wasn't was much. That? Probably not more than a lighter or something like that, but... What was that one horrible X-Men? Um, Pyro? Jubilee. Ah, yeah, no. Well, it was either going to be Pyro, Jubilee, or Toad. Why did you include Toad? Because he's kind of terrible. Thanks, Han. I mean, what's his superpower? He jumped Being good. A toad! Being a Toad's not a superpower unless you can turn it into a Toad. I mean, he had the tongue and the jump good and he could spit phlegm like a Toad. Yeah, no, that's, that's just gross. And then he got struck by lightning. Could you imagine like if, a toad? Could you imagine it if it was Toad who crashed through the roof the other day? Earlier today? And just See, kinda... My problem is like when we talk about Toad, I immediately go wind in the willows. And I know that's not right, but <laughs> Well Fun either way. I mean Toad and Frog were kind of relationship goals. Oh, that's a different toad again. Shit. <laughs> There's so many toads named Toad. Right? They just need to name them properly and stuff. Anyway, apparently you can shoot fire out of your fingers. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I can do a... I tried to do it again. Uh, give me a spirit roll. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oh, uh, okay, so I could do it once, and I used it. I think the magician across the ray couldn't replicate. <laughs> wow. Oh! Oh. I guess you know keep what? working I think on that it. that magician across the road is just playing a prank on me at this stage. <laughs> I mean, surely you can't do it from all the way over here. I don't there. know how magicians work. No one knows how magicians work. They're so full of secrets. And I look at her real suspicious right now. What? Are you a magician? <laughs> Legally, you have to tell me. I am not a magician. Hmm. I might end up being a lawyer, but I'm not a magician. Oh man, a magic lawyer though. I mean, that's not a sitcom territory. Disappear. <laughs> <laughs> My defendant is not guilty. I mean, that's one way to do wrestle dazzle, I guess. Uh, Good times. <laughs> well, the two of you kind of settle in to watch TV. You give it another couple of shots with. Fair to middling results. Like sometimes you can get it work, but most of the time it just doesn't. Hmm. Like an unreliable fire lighter. Like that lighter in the drawer that you keep for like three months. Yeah. It's like we might need this at some point, maybe. It's the best superpower, the unreliable fire lighter superpower. <laughs> I sure hope this is one of those ones where I have to activate it myself somehow. And it doesn't just randomly happen. That would be weird, wouldn't it? That would be awful. Era! Hey Jess, what you doing for the event? What's poppin'? Um, so... Era's just gonna be talking to her cat, Nox. Yeah. Just having a conversation, um, while she tries and, uh, uh well, she's gonna work on a plan on trying to get, like, a living code from the robot. Oh, that right. seems to be dying, so. Give me a hacking roll. Ooh! 
Oh, a seven. What a, f a raise. Uh, While well, the code doesn't, you get it to a point where the code doesn't degrade any further. It's still kind of distant static or not really moving much. It's not getting worse, but you're not really digging much further into it. Mm, As more and more time goes on, it's getting more and more difficult to maintain it. I need a live one? <laughs> well, Erin needs a live Erin needs a live robot. Um. Iris hmm. stops hacking, trying to hack the robot, um, as witnessing to the point where she knows that she can't get further with it. Yeah. Um, she pretty much just turns to Nox and starts trying to figure out if she can turn back into a cat. Give me a spirit roll. Nox is kind of like, so... So you're going to turn into a cat again? I can try. He kind of watches you for a couple of moments, aghast, or as aghast cat, as a cat can get. And you kind of notice that your hands and feet start to turn, like, into paws. You can see the whiskers on the end of your nose starting to kind of grow a little bit. And then they just kind of recede back into your body. I have to serve in the military when I turn 19 because I'm a guy. Did not go as planned. No. Um, Era <laughs> kind of studies Nox for a bit. Um, you want to try again? Try again. You can also always spend a penny. No. <laughs> what, like it be a waste? Well, you study Nox's form for a little bit longer. And you're kind of like, look, no, no, I got this, I got this. And you concentrate really, really hard. And you're kind of like, I am a cat. And you open your eyes again, and you are it's like you're seeing through the eyes of a cat that's perched on your computer chair. It worked? It works. Question? Hmm. What does... Huh. It worked. She looks towards, um, she continues looking at Nox. Do I look like you? Or something different? Uh, you look different. You look like you as a cat. Meow. But you right. You kind of look like you as a cat. It, it's weird. It's super weird. But I like it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, completely fine. Completely fine. At least, you know, so at least it's not like last time when you said I changed into like 20 different an animals. I mean, can you do that? I don't know if she questions. I mean, you could talk to ducks. I can't talk to ducks. If I turn into a duck, wouldn't that make you want to go cray cray? I mean... Why? You're a cat. Cat goes over off the birds. Don't you guys do that meh thing? I mean, that's that's just because they're moving and stuff. I, I wouldn't call that cray cray. Do I go cray cray? <laughs> No, it's kind of cute when you do it, but... He kind of- he I'm replicates concerned. the noise. <laughs> he kind of does the chirping noise. Oh. I mean, is this better than meowing? 
Because I only be able to get your attention. <laughs> but if this works better, then you know I'll do that instead. No, 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 no. Normal meowing is fine. <laughs> Wait, can you even hear me meowing anymore? No. I don't know. <laughs> meow. I mean, you just said meow then. I mean, you meow. <laughs> Hi. Oh no. Oh no. I can- you- you don't meow to me anymore. <laughs> okay. This is fine, this is fine. Yeah, hmm. no, this is fine. I mean, what do the neighbors think? The neighbors? She has aspirates. <laughs> Because we've, we've just been talking for like the last hour or two. Mmm, look, no one really knows me. It's fine, we're fine. They they know I have a cat, like, they just don't know what you look like. Like, it's fine. Like, she tries to convince herself, <laughs> mainly. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> this is fine, house on fire. <laughs> so... Can you turn into a duck? I guess? You're not sure? Um... She sits there and starts thinking about a random duck. <laughs> a random duck? <laughs> just a random duck. Not Donald Duck. Just <sighs> a random animal duck, like a... Oh god, that know. would be so much weirder. Mm. Like, not being able to turn to animals, you can just turn to toon animals. Oh no. Oh. Give me a spirit roll. Spirit fingers? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> With a 10, that is a success in a raise. You think duck. And you kind of draw back to your memories of earlier when you were having a conversation with said ducks. And you feel yourself shrink just a little. And then your orientation kind of changes. As you find yourself with wings, a beak, lots of feathers, and a long neck. Congratulations, you have turned into a duck. Quack. I mean, you just said quack. I know. I know. I'm aware. But wait, you can... We can understand- wait, I'm sorry. You can understand me even if I'm a duck? Do all animals just have this common language? Uh, uh, no, I can't talk to birds. But you're talking to I just to kind of right yell at now? them. They don't yell back? I mean, they do, but I, I, I don't speak bird. You speak cat. But I'm a duck. <laughs> I mean, you're asking your house cat, your best friend for life, about how you can do what you're doing. I, I don't know. I thought animals were meant to be like some sort of spiritual guidance in this shit. I... I <laughs> what's the spirit? <laughs> I mean, I, I got you to the fridge every now and again. I mean, as guidance, but not the right spiritual. I guide you through the house every day and again. Sometimes. You know that thing where I curl around your feet? Ah, oh, yes. The one where I almost fall flat on my face every time. Hey, it's not my fault if you're not agile enough. Mm -hmm. Wait. I turned to a big cat. I mean, I don't know. Can you turn into a big cat? Iris starts thinking about turning into a tiger. Well, you know what to do. Spirit fingers! Ooh. <laughs> well, I have good news and bad news for you. The good news? You don't- you do turn into a big cat. 
But it's not a tiger. It's a lion. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And that's probably the wrong size. <laughs> that's fine. My ear is confused. There we go. It just breaks. Yeah, no, oh. it absolutely breaks under the pressure of this giant cat that just kind of grew, like, grows into being there. Nox looks obviously frightened. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> it's still me. Ear tries to convince. Why are you shouting? <laughs> I'm shouting. I thought I was talking quiet. Oh no, this is bad. <laughs> what would the neighbors hear? <laughs> Give me like a bow and like Lee. I just hear him like lion rolls <laughs> down the hallway or some shit. Oh no. Uh, actually, Lee, Bo, I'll get notice rolls from you. <laughs> oh, I assume. Mm. Feels. <laughs> Apparently, Lee's just deaf. Oh, they got the TV going. Oh, wow. Oh, hey. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you have a D12 for notice? Yeah. <laughs> I hear the earth moving. He knows exactly what species of lion this is. Yeah, no, you can absolutely hear a lion kind of roaring from Ira's ap apartment. It's just an interesting Narnia movie, okay, guys? <laughs> so, so I'm gonna do my best to, like, have the, like, front door to my apartment actually closed properly, and then, like, <laughs> drag the lounge in front of it and pop it up against the door. Just nothing's your problem, huh? <laughs> no, not really. I ain't dealing with a lion. Um, so that's kind of scary, but it's good that we know you can do that. Hmm. It's, it's, yeah. I'm a bit, hmm. I think this a is bit a bit naturally shouty. I'm sorry, <laughs> I cannot lower the octave of my voice. You're just kind of standing <laughs> and <laughs> just like bashing away. <laughs> Wait. Sorry, it's just kind of instinct. But buddy, <laughs> if anything, you look like my child at the moment. I mean, I I guess. Hmm. I I need to change back before people notice. Yara starts trying to think of how she was as a human. Yep. Just try to revert back. Yep. Thinking people thoughts. Yeah. All right. Give me a spirit roll. Oh, we can do a group roll? <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. You come back to your normal form. Once again, human, in your clothes, seemingly fine, which is probably the weirdest thing about the whole thing. Mm. <laughs> just a little bit. And Nox kind of just jumps back up onto the couch and is like, that was weird. The duck was weirder, but the big cat was also weird. Well, you're gonna have to get used to it as much as I have to get used to it. Why? I can't turn into an animal. No, but let's just say it probably won't be the first time that I'll be trying this again. Okay. <laughs> Yuri just moves over to Nox. <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, buddy! <laughs> Let me love you! <laughs> You're a good kitty, he'll give you some food. That's exactly where he was going as well. <laughs> okay, I guess it's Ira's feeding Nox now. Cooking him a gourmet chicken. A <laughs> gourmet chicken. He deserves it after what he just witnessed. <laughs> His odor turning into a very large cat? Yes. Yeah? 
Because, you know, that's not weird enough. No, it's not. But it's fine. Now, next question. Do you spend the rest of the night experimenting with this? Yes. Well, you find that some animals are kind of... You kind of decide against turning into some animals for obvious reasons. But as the night kind of goes on, you're finding turning into small animals easier and easier. Uh, Nox particularly has the complaint about the small dog. Of course he does. <laughs> but most small critters, small animals, possums, uh, you even do a wombat at one point. But, you do find it easier with animals that you're familiar with, and are closer to your size. This is fine. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks like you're getting hang of it. Yes. It's still weird, though. I think you and I have different definitions of weird. I mean... I'm a cat. You're the one who can turn to animals. I mean, yes. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Bo. Yes? How are you spending your evening? Besides making sure that your door is firmly closed, locked with the catch in front of it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I really wish I could move some of the furniture around here. <laughs> <laughs> no random large felines are entering my apartment. Um, oh, I guess he'd be trying to see how far he can push some of his newfound um, illusions and the like that he can perform. Hmm. Um, what are you trying to do to push yourself? So you've already done a performance with most of your powers. Well, with some of your powers. Yeah, so I guess uh, I've sort of replicated, like, entire stunts with illusions, haven't I? Mm. And I've sort of figured out how to get visibility working. Um, so, looking at the power set that he has... Teleportation and mind reading. So, probably seeing how if he can either A, use an illusion to get from like one point to another, mm -hmm. or B, get there discreetly slash quickly without using invisibility. I would say would be his. So, just try target. to experiment I'm trying to practice invisibility uh yeah invisibility yeah yeah well give me a smarts roll an attribute roll smarts roll five five well you can certainly make yourself invisible Mm. Um, masking your footsteps is a little bit more difficult, but for you it's just a case of, you know, just walk quietly. Which is easy on carpet, but when you get to tiles it's a little bit trickier. Mm. Barefoot makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Or invest in, like, felt for the heel part of my shoes. Also an option. So when on tiles, it's just a bit bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. But Just I practice that a few times, you'd be like... I wonder... So he's, he's managed to make items invisible before. Mm -hmm. So he would probably attempt to... grab something, make it invisible, and like... place it somewhere else and see if it stays invisible. Well... What item are you doing this with? Just like a plate. With a plate? Yeah. 
All right. Well, give me a sponsor roll again. Because a lot of your power is going to roll off of that. Oof. You pick up a plate yeah. while you and you kind of make it go invisible. You've yep, done that bit before. You also go invisible at the same time, but then you kind of focus a little bit and make it so that it's only the plate that's invisible. Mm -hmm. This takes a little bit of mental effort on your part, but you get it to work. Yep. You place it back down again and take a couple of steps back. And you think it's remaining invisible. Uh huh. And then you kind of realize that it's just the shade of the illusion. Ah. Uh. Right. The difference is very finite, but you can still see that the plate is there. It's mm. just an illusion to make it look like it's not. Right, okay. Okay, okay. Myself invisible. I need to illusion objects or assistance to be not there. One or the other. So based off that, he'd try and just, like, illusion up a person. Oh, which you can. Don't need to make any roll, or...? No. Okay. Look, at this point, you've done a stressful performance and successfully done illusions throughout it. Doing oh. basic illusions like a person? Pretty simple. Well, as long as the person is familiar to you. Yeah. I'd just pick anyone, like, um... The guy that that came and thanked me for the performance after the show. Yeah. People you're vaguely familiar with or know their faces is a little easier. Um, the less you know them, the vaguer the details. Yeah. Which is fine from far away, but the closer you get, it's kind of like, oh, they're slightly blurry. Hmm. Bit suspect to the viewers. Hmm. At least the close viewers. Okay, so I. I get them to sit down. Yep. But then I get them to disappear. They just sort of like have the illusion be dismissed or, or whatever. Um, and then I try and get them to like reappear at like the dining table. Or yeah. Oh, sorry. The lounge is moved in front of the TV in front of the door. Yep. So from sitting at the dining table to just sort of like standing in a corner. And you can do that pretty easily. Because he's an illusion. Yeah, cool. That's okay. The next part will be um, try and duplicate myself mm -hmm. and put an illusion over myself. Well, I can just turn myself invisible. Create an illusion of myself, yep. sort of like directly where I am, directly on top of myself, and focus on making myself go invisible. Hmm. That works fine. It takes a little bit of exertion. I'll get you a, to a sponsor roll. Ooh, close. You can do it. Got five. But it is kind of taxing. The more <laughs> you're trying to do it once, the harder it gets. Mm-hmm. Also, your back is kind of blurry. Uh oh. <laughs> Need to get some mirrors to focus on my back. But that's okay. They're just sort of like standing in front of the camera. You just always face the crowd like you're supposed to do in a performance. Like the back of your legs and your arms and things are fine, but your actual back? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's. You should like get closer. It's like, oh no, that's just. You know, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, all right, so then the black I, I, helps. Yeah, so then I do that, mm. and I sort of like move somewhere else in the room. Yep. And then I attempt to both dismiss the illusion and dismiss the invisibility on myself. Well, you can do that pretty easily because right, that's good. just a case of stopping your powers from being used. Stopping exertion. Yeah, stopping concentration. Right. You've been heavily visualizing the situation. Now it's just a case of okay, now just breathe out, relax. And everything kind of just turns off. Be like, yeah, this is great. Okay, so then this time, mm -hmm. 
if it's somewhere else in his room. Uh, so sort of where he is in on the in the apartment. Does a similar thing again. Yep. And has has the illusion go up to the door of the bedroom, illusionarily open the door, walk in and close the door. Can I do that without a problem? Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think I'm focusing on the wrong token. <laughs> I can only see the bedroom now. <laughs> there we go. Like, and then like, I don't know if, how I'm maintaining the illusion in the room, but again, just the whole dismiss and dismiss the invisibility. <laughs> and then just do like a... Like a ta-da kind of like posed. Yeah. Kind of like, and ta-da, I guess? To no one in particular? Yeah, just be like... Ooh. He's... The, the expression on his face is like a child that's just got a new toy. He's he's grinning from ear to ear, but he's not verbally sane. Now, are you recording this? No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> Can't give away my secrets. It's a fair question. It is a fair question, you're right. Magicians record their performances. Actually, any performer records their performances. Yeah. So it's a fair question. But no, you kind of spend the rest of the night just working on... Your illusions, how to meld them better with your performance. Yep. Uh, one of the immediate issues that comes to mind is if you actually bring an audi uh, volunteer up from the audience. Because if they have to interact with any of the illusions. Oh yeah, no, I need to make sure they're high quality. Yeah. I probably might need to get some stage, um, like staged people to select from the audience. Hmm. <laughs> At least for now. Well, yeah. I mean, you know the flatmates. Sorry, you know the other people in the flats now. Or at least on your floor. True. True. To a little bit. So, that's always an option. Hmm. Good work. Well, you kind of continue to do that until you get tired and then I assume just go to sleep. Yeah, it probably <laughs> won't be longer than like half an hour of messing around with that before being like, alright, it's time for bed. You kind of feel a headache starting to come on, but ah. you're not sure if it's like overexertion or dehydration. Yep. But yep, fair enough. As you turn the lights out, and everything starts to get darker, it's a little bit difficult to get to sleep. Oh, crap. You, you start to hear voices. Uh-oh. That's not good. It kind, hey, of, it kind of takes you a little while to figure it out. Mm. But you're pretty damn sure you can hear Lee's voice? Lee and Kara's voice? I sort of, like, roll my eyes and try and, like... Lay one side with my head against the pillow and just like put my arm up over my other ear and be like, oh. It's not like they, they're yelling or anything, it's just you could absolutely hear them through the walls. Yeah, it's just try and cover myself so <laughs> I don't have to hear them. Uh, give me a smart roll. So many smart rolls. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that wasn't even on the D12. <laughs> so, for those watching, in Savage Worlds, on a d6, if you roll a 6, then you roll it again and add the result. So, in order for Joel to have done that... <laughs> yeah, no, three sixes in a row! I am best roller. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. Um, well, you kind of just tune them out. Better. And everything kind of just goes quiet again. The optimum position where you can fall asleep quite easily. And you have a restful night. I'm like, 
Oh sweet, the arm of the pillow worked. <laughs> Um, Gira, you also have a pretty peaceful night. <laughs> Hacking's all well and good, but... And you're kind of exhausted. Your body feels exhausted. Like you've been exercising too much. And there's a general feeling that, oh, maybe turning back and forwards into a lot of different sized creatures probably exerts your muscles a bit. <laughs> And you would be feeling it. So, going to sleep. How do you go to sleep? How? I mean... I'm sorry. A post was an hour normal person <laughs> I mean, do a spirit roll. Oh. You can choose to remain human while you sleep if you so choose. Hmm. Nah. Let Ira have some changing fun. <laughs> I like where your head's at. <laughs> okay. Now, Lee. Me. Going to sleep. Yep. <laughs> well... You should be able to move here. Yeah. I've got it unpaused. It's how doors work. <laughs> you just have to click them, it's fine. It's like 90s oh, point man. and click adventures. Mm. Though it was, worries me you haven't been to the bathroom yet. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> My bathroom sucks. They're apartment bathrooms, what are you expecting? A sink! I can only fit so many things, damn it! Actually, I probably could fit a basin in. Version 3 of the apartments will have sinks. Yeah, alright. Bit unnecessary, but okay. Uh, for you, it's a case of you kind of toss and turn a little bit. Uh, both you and Kara seem to be having trouble getting sleep, honestly. She goes to cuddle you and she complains that you're too hot. And then you go to cuddle her and it's the same thing. Fair. Uh, she keeps taking the blankets, but you kind of let her have that one because you're feeling warm anyway. Yeah, this kind of sucks. <laughs> but, you kind of sleep peacefully. Hell yeah. No real dreams, to say the least. So, Hestia! Yes, model. You kind of wake into darkness. Glowing mm. softly. <laughs> <laughs> One second. I was screwing around with stuff. Thank you. I will turn down that a bit. Thank you. All right. There you go. You wake in darkness and then sudden light. Um, you find yourself in a very similar strange room as to where you were earlier. Okay. Uh, you can sense, however, that the hearth has gone out. All right. So just one job, you guys. <laughs> Am I alone? No, there's a mortal woman sleeping next to you. Hmm. Don't remember how this came to pass, but acceptable. It'll do. 
I don't know the godly way of doing this, so I'm just going to kind of nudge her. Well, it takes her a little bit. And she kind of mobs. Mortal. Blake, you're Mortal. too warm. Mortal. She kind of wakes up, then kind of does the whole scramble back into the bedhead. <gasps> Who are you? It is I, Goddess Hestia. Fear not. The uh... earth has gone out. I have this sense about such things. <laughs> you should fix that, mortal. Um, how? It... It's fire. You know, like, um... She's looking... that one titan called again? She's looking absolutely terrified. You know, the one with the eagle in the liver problem. Um. Prometheus, that guy. Uh, he gave you fire. It was very kind of him. Uh, you know fire. I guess? Why are you here? Um... I do not know. Uh, I was hoping that maybe you could fill in some blanks for me on that one. She kind of has a moment where she looks around and goes, Where's Lee? You what did you do only, with my boyfriend? You are the only mortal that I have seen. Now. If there are others, they are not doing their job. Vis-a-vis -vis the hearth, as I have said to you, like, three times now. Uh, uh, we, we don't have a hearth, whatever that is. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm a legal student. I study, like, Very good. legal science I'm proud of you. I, I Thanks. know of laws. You should study them. Athena would be proud. Cool. It worries me that you do not know of your own hearth. Come with me, Mortal. <laughs> I really need to get a token for her. She kind of follows you a little bit hesitantly. She gets to about the door of the bedroom. I'll get a persuasion roll from you. Not one of her real skills. I mean... But apparently, threats are okay. I mean, it's not a threat. You're not threatening her. She's a walking threat. It's fine. I mean, she's intimidating. Mortal, this is your hearth, I think. <laughs> she kind of walks over and goes, Uh, that's the stove. Dove. It, it's, it it's is a good half. Uh, we use it for food? Yes. It should be always kept lit. I mean, it, it should be lit. I mean, she checks it for the pilot light and then realizes that it's an electric stove that so doesn't really need one. And she goes, well, um, I mean, you're not wrong. Of course not. I'm a god. That's how we work. Okay. Oh, so you're aware you're glowing, right? I'm just like... <laughs> Hestia is just like looking at her and then slowly looking towards the the oven. It's just like, well, are you gonna? <laughs> That's you projecting the light, by the way. Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I, I don't really have a lighter or, I don't know how, I'm sorry. I will turn my fist on. <laughs> you yep, have just kind of, chick, chick. and then just like, I guess, place my hand on the stove. And it comes to a light, a soft fire burning within. Now, was that really so hard, mortal? I can't do that. <laughs> 
But you have, like, rocks or something, right? <laughs> Flint and steel? I mean, no. I'm, pre um, I'm pretty sure we have a lighter around here somewhere. She starts rifling for jewels. Eventually gets a lighter out and kind of starts trying to light it. Eventually gets a small flame out of it. Hey, you are, mortal. Unlike most of my kind, I am not belittling you for being immortal. I think you're doing great. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I, I try to do okay. I mean... Are you actually a god? Yes. Uh, should I pray to you or something? It is not strictly necessary, but, um... Cool, because I've never been to church. What is a church? I mean, it's where people go and pray and worship gods and stuff. That's strange to me. I am the goddess of hearth and home, so you're like 50% of the way there at all times. Oh, so I can just do it from here? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, just keep this old girl lit and I'll like just like pat the oven. I keep keep your home as the gods will it. I'm not sure how to do that, but I will look into it. It mm. But is there some kind of communal oven where you can get smaller fire from and bring to your oven? I... I don't think so. Well, I feel I'm in a strange land. I, I Things are not as they should be. I think you're also in a strange land. I do not know how to process this right off the bat. Uh, you are feeling tired though, Hestia. Now that the hearth is relit, and everything is right with the world. Or not Portal, right with the world. I am feeling fatigued, which is an interesting thing for a god to feel. Okay. I do not appreciate this. Um. We have a couch. You just try and gestures to it. I kind of need to find my boyfriend. You should do that. Um. Tell him I said hi. Okay. You have a lovely home. This isn't the first time I've been here. There was an issue with your door. She kind of looks over to the door that's only partially still there. I did not do that. Yeah. It's been a weird couple of days. Uh, I'm just going to put this on that list. And uh, look, the couch is there. Um, try not to set fire to the place. I do not set fires unintentionally. I'm, I'm gonna go look for my boyfriend. Have fun. I will drape myself over the couch. <laughs> just like, uh, where's the person that hands me grapes? Yeah, just where's like the bloody satyr? Once she's already left, I was just like, ah, oh, should have asked for grapes. <laughs> well! <laughs> just, <laughs> model! Model, where do you keep your snacks? Oh, you're gone. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, you hear the doors kind of open and close. <laughs> she leaves to go find her wayward boyfriend. Alright, well, next morning. Ira, you're the first to be awoken. What a beautiful morning. It is kind of beautiful. You're still human. Nox is sleeping beside you. You kind of start stirring and he kind of gives opens one eye then goes back to sleep. Typical. <laughs> um, I guess Ira just starts off with a day by like, you know, just grabbing a quick coffee. Okay, I kind of freaked out. I forgot about the robot. And then, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was about... 
That's fine. Well, it's as you get started on your first coffee that you hear the alarm on your phone start to go off. Ira looks at her phone and stops the alarm. Well, the message that pops up is, hey, good morning. Hello? She types into her phone. Hacks appears on the screen. Oh, hey, Hacks. How you doing, buddy? She greets. <laughs> I'm good. That's good. So? What can... So? Going for any changes lately? Mm, I mean, I've been practicing, if that's what you mean. Oh. I thought you were just going to duck the question. Mm, I'm slowly ex coming to terms with it. Yeah. Yeah. Having a bit of a rough time with it? Uh, let's just say I was a lion. <laughs> there you go. You gotta have a humor about these kind of things. Well, I wasn't kidding around. <laughs> Hey, so I'm about to wake some of your, um, flatmates. Wait, what? Why? Because I need to talk to the three of you. Okay. I guess. That's cool. Just uh, thought I'd give you a heads up. Thank you. Um, I guess I'll talk to you soon. Or are you already starting to do your little hacky thing and, send, and whilst you're talking... You're already sending alarms out to their phone. I mean, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Um, meet at the elevator. Okay. All right. Catch you soon. Oh, okay. good. She, she hangs up on hacks. Question mark. <laughs> There's no hanging up on hacks. <laughs> there is no hanging up. He's just there. She just puts the phone back in her pocket and then grabs a little to go coffee cup and yeah. then makes her way out to the foyer, I guess. Uh, Bo. Yes. You're woken up to an alarm on your phone as well. What? Why do I, why do I have an alarm set on my phone? Why do I have an alarm set? Where's the elevator? <laughs> uh, you check your alarm. And it says, please meet us at the elevators in 15 minutes. I would just screw that. What time is it? Oh, it'd be like 8 o'clock. 7 oh. 30, 8 o'clock. So Bo screws up his face, turns the alarm off, flips the phone over and goes back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the light in your room starts to flicker on and off. Oh, someone's messing with me. I know how to fix this. Piss off, ghost. <laughs> I use an illusion and put another roof over, like, lower down <laughs> to block the light. It's not perfect. But is it dim enough to sleep? It is dim enough to sleep a little perfect. bit more. And then you hear your phone start to ring. Oh, I guess I should have turned that off, huh? I pick it up and look at it. Hmm. Who's calling? Uh, Hacks. H-A-X. A little notification pops up being like, please don't make me force the phone call. If Bo had a different personality, he'd be like, force this and just turn the phone off. <laughs> He's gonna get out of bed. Yep. What kind? What time of year is it? Summer. Okay. Fine. Apparently, it's gonna... the 11th of December, 166 AD. Oh, fair enough. I'm glad we have electricity in 166 AD. Right. It always worried me. Fine. I'm just gonna walk it, uh, and then I see the thing, and I'll be like, oh. And I like dismount the lounge from the door 
and like open the door and just walk out in my like boxes and t-shirt and be like, what? I don't see anyone here. <laughs> here is there. The token? Because I don't see the token. Yeah, no, here should be there. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, wait. The well, lights are on. Yeah, the lights are on. Hello. No, just tokens absolutely there. Well, we'll go to Lee while we figure out what's going on there. Hey, Lee. Hey, what? Ah, uh, you awake on the couch. Guy. Sleepwalking? I'm gonna say sleepwalking. The lights turn on. Well, I'm just assuming you would have. It's morning, the lights would be sure. on. Oh, there'd be enough daylight streaming in from the windows. Either way! <laughs> uh, well, uh, get up, have a stretch. Go back to the bedroom. Kara is not there. Hmm. Hmm. You pooping? <laughs> Are you pooping? You don't get a response. You pooping? <laughs> I'm addicted. Let's And yeah, no, it's just you're home alone. You do, oh, however, get an alarm Ooh. on your phone. Oh, hey. Is it my girlfriend? It is not Kara. This sucks. <laughs> uh, it's someone by the name of Hax asking you to be at the elevator in 15 minutes. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'll write back what elevator. Sorry. Uh, you get a response back, the apartment elevator. My apartment? For the flats, yes. Have an elevator? <laughs> this room, I'm like, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> where are they? Elevator. You have an oh. elevator? <laughs> I didn't even think our apartment was big enough for an elevator. Um, Accessibility matters. Uh, sure, sure. Well, um, I mean, I'm in front of the fridge, so I'm gonna have some grapes before I head out, because I've got a craving. <laughs> Just a sudden craving for grapes? Just like, oh, hell yeah. This'll do me. Grab a soda and head out. Um... As I'm passing the table, I'll, like, write down a note. Yeah. Got mysterious text. <laughs> this is fine. Hopefully we'll be back soon. Text me when you get... Why didn't I just... I'm texting my girlfriend. <laughs> I screw up the, the note. Like, what is this? It's 2021. Remember it's not the 90s. And just text my girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, you can use W A S and D to move your token as well. Why would I want to? Eh. I just realized what Bo would have done. Yeah. He would have just illusioned some clothes. Oh no. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't start down that path. That path Such leads a to danger. Path. <laughs> some decisions were made. You don't want to go into an anti-magic zone and be naked. It's not magic, though. It's illusions. Because magic doesn't exist. Exactly. Okay, you don't want someone to <coughs> see through your illusions, so to speak. You're like, why are you in your underwear? I mean, that's their problem, not mine. <laughs> also true. <laughs> but okay, text girlfriend. 
Hey, where are you? Um, you get a response back. Uh, was that all night looking for you? Are you back home? Left on couch. Miley face. You get the three dots for a little while, then they stop, and then they start again. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> then they started again, and she's like, I've gone to Yudi. I'll see you there. Got mysterious text to meet at elevator. Parenth open parentheses, which we have, question mark. <laughs> Close parentheses. The response you get back is, uh, we have them for accessibility for the upper floors, but Up, upper floors, yes, that we have. She does anyway. sound a little bit cranky, but then she, you kind of get another message, and she's like, just, "I love you, love you too." If I die, I love you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tell me if you see a god. Send me a pick. <laughs> Winky face. I'm texting as I just like wander out. Mm -hmm. Hopefully going the right way. Do do do. This feels elevatory. So can you guys not see Jess's token? I can see it. Yeah, it's right okay. here. I can't. I can see Nick's token. That's it's really weird. Over by the wall. Well, you hear a ding. As one of the elevators opens. What? You. Who put an hour there? Did you go Nick down did. the stairs this way and then. Oh no, that's where your token is. Oh. That's not where my token is. What? Huh. I'm right next to Bo, like with a square in between. Well, that's what I, I can see as well. I can see you, but I can't see where you is. <laughs> that's um, new and fun. I'm invisible. Uh, Bo has me has used his illusion on Era. You're welcome. Can't get in. Can't get in? Alright, well, I'm gonna mess around with that later. I found Kira. Kira? Ira, sorry, no, Kira. <laughs> She's like, Kira. <laughs> Congrats on finding her, but. I can barely read the name. I have to zoom in. It's white on white. Yeah, no, it's very bright. But, the elevator doors open, and you hear Hax's voice go, Floor number one, going down. Down? Yeah, no, you're going down. Yelling timber? <laughs> you better move. With that attitude, Bo's going back to his room. <laughs> <laughs> this is the no, first time Liam Bo. saw him, and he's like, oh, hey guys. Did you Why get a mysterious this? text too? Here just kind of stares at Bo and Lee while she sips on a latte. What? You hear a voice from the elevator kind of go, I need to talk to the three of you, but I kind of don't want to do it in public view. Jog, go into elevator. Ira shrugs her shoulders and just hops in. If you stop the sass, I'll come. What sass? Level one, going down. Well, I haven't slept in the last couple of days, so I'm a little bit loopy. It's fine. No, it's not fine. Kink. I don't need as much sleep as other people, but I will try to keep the sass to a minimum. Okay. You can take separate elevators if you like. Yeah. Press the button. <laughs> well, 
The three of you get into the elevators. I mean, I'm maintaining COVID safe distancing with Aira. <laughs> oh, it didn't happen here. It didn't happen. It was never a thing here. Maintaining social distance. Bye. But the three of you do eventually get into the elevators. And you, the doors close. And then you see the elevator numbers starting to tick downwards. And from one to zero? And then, you know, minus one, or B1, B2, B3. Huh. There's a lot more parking than I thought there was. <laughs> Lee just takes like a real long sip of his Pepsi, looks at, I assume, Air got into his elevator. Yeah. It's just like, don't think I should be doing that. Then they start to accelerate, and you feel that lurching feeling of a uh, slightly plummeting, but not fast enough to be uh, losing traction. <laughs> We're in danger. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ira just like kind of makes eye contact with Lee with like some like just a flicker of fear going like like over her eyes before she just maintains composure and in the corner is just like, yep, this is normal. Yeah. To be honest, we probably shouldn't have responded to a mysterious text message to get in an elevator. Our fault, really. Christ, we're huge now. I mean, <laughs> I mean that's one way to put it. Hello. The doors open up, and it's pretty much just darkness. No parents. In front of you is a table with a plate on top of it. Oh heck yeah, food. Uh, no, three little earpieces. Oh. And a sign that says, wear me. I'm sorry, what? I've seen enough Alice in Wonderland to know how good this is going to be. <laughs> Ear just kind of cautiously looks at the table. Lee is already wearing one. Well, you hear Hax's voice go, Hey, Lee! Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can't hear the can others yet, you? though. <laughs> guys, Here. it's Hax. You mean the guy that messed with my lights and my phone and my ringtone and my alarm? Yeah, Here. that guy. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, Ira approaches the table, picks up the earpiece, and wears it. Um. Hey, Ira. Yeah, is there a reason why you got us into this uh little saw basement thing? Also, how did you get this basement? What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, no, look, the basement's a, a recent find. Yeah. I should yeah. I should be there soon. Okay. Wasn't Hex in the elevator? Uh I that's fight or flight right there. Uh as you're kind of standing around. Oh no. Uh... You see these glowing red portals start to appear. Nothing good comes out of glowing red portals. What you doing? Well, time to take the elevator back up. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. We, we outie. <laughs> <laughs> the doors to the elevators do not close. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh no. This would be a really good time for me to learn my teleport power. <laughs> Mr. GM, sir. Sorry, one second. 
There we go. Oh no. <laughs> it hacks. Yeah. Hacks. Hacks. It hacks. Hacks. As the final portal starts to open up. <laughs> Well, I feel that's fair. That, that that freaks me out so much. <laughs> uh. That's a mood. <laughs> that's a mood. Okay. There we go. And creatures start to step out <coughs> from the portals. Oh no. Bo, you're invisible. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, um <laughs> not get between these 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 fine gentlemen and the um <laughs> prey that they're obviously seeking near the elevators. Okay, somehow they got Bo. No, no. <laughs> Already. Oh, no. Eric kind of looks and notices just Lee and herself just standing at the elevators. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Where did that wedding singer dude go? <laughs> wedding singer. <laughs> wow. How do you feel about that, Bo? This is the part where I learn the telepathy power <laughs> and be like, good luck. Wow. Give me a smarts <laughs> roll. Hey, Marga. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> you just kind of mumble, like, in your own head. Kind of just like, well, good luck then. <laughs> and Ira and Lee, you both hear of Bo's voice in your head just kind of go, well, good luck then. Oh shit, he's a ghost. <laughs> ghost. You say ghost out loud? Yeah. Okay. I'm just, like, if you guys don't respond, Bo doesn't know that it had any effect. But if you react, it's like, oh. I just should to work out that connection. Alright. I oh, have Wow. <laughs> well. Those I... are some bad names. Through the two of clubs. I'm so happy. <laughs> Hang on. You can't. Give me the two of clubs. I've got the four of clubs. Can't give you the two of clubs because you got something? Wait. I clicked it. It shows in the chat. Oh. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Draw a replacement until it's six or higher. I'll do that. There you go. <laughs> hey. That was surprisingly easy to do, considering I've never done it before. What? I thought it was <laughs> me because I clicked two of clubs and it came up. I was like, oh. So which of us that worked? All right. Do 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 do. This one. Well, he's got two targets in front of him. Hey, Era, how you doing? Era is just looking to the. Weird creatures that somehow surround around the basement. Um, anybody can is, can you get a hold of Ax? Ax? Like, I'm just, mm. letting out an almighty. <laughs> it strikes oh. out with its claws. Oh. What is oh. your parry? Um, 
Is that where I go into your powers? character sheet? Uh, yeah. And then I just press parry. Hey, if you like. Well, that was twice. That's all good. Well, you don't have to press it, but it's kind of automatic. It goes to yeah. strike you. And in those kind of moments, everything kind of just slows down. Like, uh, suddenly you, you're seeing bullet time as the claw kind of starts coming out for you. And you just kind of stumble back a little bit as the claw kind of just goes wide and misses you. And then time just kind of speeds up again. Uh, what was that? She questions to herself. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's how you do that. Oh, right. The next one. He's gonna move up and do the same thing. Please, no. I don't like his chances. No. <laughs> and he'll miss again. You're kind of... Still concentrating on the one that first attacked you. You immediately hear the slight footsteps as it kind of echoes. And the next one starts to step towards you. And you look around, and once again, you kind of see this claw kind of going overhead in slow motion. And you just kind of move out of the way of it. What did I do? I'm not in the, I'm not in the basement anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then things kind of just snap back to normal. This one. I mean... 5, 10, 15, yep. How do I get back to the basement? Oh, you switched over. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't know how you did that either. <laughs> so it's fine. Oh, it's like... Mm, I need... Six isn't gonna hit you either. Magnus the Magnificent. I need to change that. Bo! It is your turn. Ah. Well, we will just move on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. I didn't see the message. Uh, okay. Oh, they haven't seen me. No. Sweet. You're invisible. <laughs> I know! I'm just so happy it worked! You spent some time practicing with it. Um... So they're sort of approaching the others, huh? Ah, uh, they're openly charging and attacking, but... You're watching, you're just... Definitely dodge every single strike. Mm. Like So I need to make some copies of Lee, then? <laughs> yes? I guess. So I create some illusions... ...of Lee. Um, how do I? I'm Ooh. gonna put them like here and like here. What? Wait, I have an idea. Because so I have the the extra actions. Power, but it's yeah. Do. <laughs> oh, now I'm freaking out. Uh, yeah, no, Lee, you see multiple versions of yourself just kind of... Is, is that my power? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have superpowers? Apparently. Yeah, you I can make more of me. At Lee. What? I'm a one-man army. Then do something, one-man army. Not my turn yet. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably going to be the, all that Bo does at the moment. That's all good. Lee! Attack my clones! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it works like that, Yuri. Questions? Um, Lee, give me a um, smarts roll. Fuck. 
Yeah, they don't seem to move. Oh. Well. Okay. Hmm. Hmm? Mm hmm. Can I uh get in the way of the ones attacking air era? Um You're not a coward or anything, are you? I'm not a coward, just Cautious? Bad at things. <clears throat> no, okay. Um, you can uh, try to assist her in dodging. Sure. So give me an agility roll. He doesn't know you don't need it, Jess. Wow! <laughs> He'll be assisting, though. <laughs> Alright! Rock on. Is that all you're doing? Yeah, like... My instinct is either to, like, get us out of this situation, yeah. but I don't know how. Yep, no, that's fair. That's absolutely fair. Uh, the next one. I mean... <laughs> it attacks. It just starts swinging at this illusion. Bow, and you're just kind of watching it as it just kind of swings. It is going to, however, do a notice roll and fail to notice that it's an illusion as you just kind of make the illusion, mimic the dodge and weave in a convincing enough manner. And the creature just kind of loses its turn as it lays into something that's not actually there. Ira! Yes. What you doing? are disconnected from your channel. Who disconnected? Yes, did. <laughs> it died in the game and she died in real life. She'll be back, I'm sure. She didn't die. Just tell her to scream real loud. Oh my god, rip. <laughs> Accidentally closed team speak. I mean, it does happen from time to time. Yeah. User joined your channel. There we go. Welcome uh, back. <laughs> <laughs> I was a noob. Um, hello. Welcome uh, back. Um, I guess you were yeah. gonna have to fight. <laughs> I mean, you're kind of backed up into the corner. Uh, Lee's trying to help you dodge, though. Mm. That's awful nice of him. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I think Ira might have to change to help. <laughs> mm. All right. Can Ira... All right, I'm going to try and get Ira to change into a wolf. <laughs> into a wolf? Yeah. Give me a spirit roll. Spirit fingers go. Ooh. Ooh. So you were going for a wolf, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I become a Jack Russell, don't I? Yeah, kind of, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a staffy. Rough. <laughs> um, Lee, a UC era next to you. Uh, kind of start concentrating. You absolutely hear it mumble something under her breath, and then just kind of start shrinking before turning into a staffy. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's just abandoning me. <laughs> So that's your cool power to turn into a dog. That's that's also good, I guess. Ira kind of gives him like 
a side, sn- like a side eye glance, as if like really, you think I just turned into a dog? <laughs> this was not meant to happen. <laughs> now, are you going to attack as well? Yeah. All right. You're just gonna attack. Um. That would be fighting, yes? Yep. Cool. Let's hope this works. Whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strong little stuffy. <laughs> that is a strong little stuffy. Just bite their throat out or something. Yeah, Jeez. no, it's fine. Uh... Yeah, no, because you got your fighting pumped up. They don't have it built in. Damn. Wait, inventory? Um, under inventory, you should have unarmed strike. I uh, use the second one, I believe. Yes, the D6. Um, and roll an extra d6. So roll it again. Because you got two raises, actually. Six. And one more. So, for a total of seven. I check against their toughness. And unfortunately, you kind of just bite and gnaw on them. But don't do much. The problem's like, what is this weird sensation? <laughs> like, what? Cool S- dog moves you got. So what's the parry of the, the, the demons? The parry's not great. <laughs> well, it's not bad. But. Okay. I just... Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, you're quite right. One more. I miscalculated by one. So one more d6. Oh, uh, one more. Yep. That's a bit better. 14. You kind of start biting at its knees and then kind of take the leg out from under it and just continue to start biting. And which one were you biting? Straight to your left? Uh, yeah. It kind of just disappears in a flashing red glow. Congratulations, <laughs> you beat your first creature as a, as a dog. Stop. <laughs> Staffies can be vicious. No, do not know. They really got a bad name because they are because <laughs> they got bad owners. That's very us. true. Well, this one's going to attack the illusion. Um, and do noticing checks and fail to notice. So he's just going to go swinging at the illusion. Uh, Bo, you can't help but be, uh, you know, a little bit amused by this. Yeah. Feeling pretty proud of myself. <laughs> As you should. Stupid beasts. I mean, this one's going to do the same thing. Oh, wow. Rip. He super <laughs> doesn't know it's a damn thing. Ah. Uh... Well, Ira, you're first. As initiative is redrawn. What did I hear? Uh, I ah. believe that's the black... Joker. You got the black Joker. So, I'm not sure if this will be automatically included, but upon getting a Joker, the deck will be reshuffled at the end of the initiative. But for this round, you can act at whatever point that you want to. This includes interrupting someone else's action. And any actions that you do will get you a plus two. 
Oh, you do with a plus two. Ooh. So if you want, you can go now or you can go pretty much whenever you want. Just let me know. Okie dokie. I'll let Lee and Bo have their turns go. Oh, all right then. Nice. Oh, well. Apparently my illusions work so well, so I'm going to make some more. <laughs> Just make some more? Yeah. <laughs> Just on either side of them? Yeah. This will work fine. That'll be me. It is a bit of a strain on your mind. You're starting yes. to realize that you're getting to your limits. That would be getting, yep. Yep, makes sense. All right, that one. Well, he's going to go to attack you. As he goes to chomp you with his big biting bite mouth. The six is going to miss, unfortunately. <laughs> As he goes to bite you and you just kind of, in your staffiness, just you once again see time seem to shift and slow. And you kind of just shuffle out of the way. Uh, Lee, your turn. So I just see a dog destroy one of these creatures. Yeah, no. It was pretty brutal oh, until it oh. kind of... Okay, so... Looks like you got this handled. Um, and it just goes and hides under the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright. That's fair, I guess. Well, they're going to continue to attack, and now they're being cornered, so they're attacking illusions on both sides. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Just leave me with these two. It's okay. It's fine. Are you still the same person, though? Are you just a dog now? Maybe you were swapped? No, I'm still a dog. But... <laughs> you do hear the dog talking to you, though. Wait. Me? Oh, sorry, you hear the dog talking to Lee. Okay, in that case, I will respond. <laughs> it looks like you got this. <laughs> Doesn't even, is not even taken aback that a dog's talking to them. Non-verbal wolf's oh, just wait, a thumbs up. One. Um, it kind of saw you run underneath the table, Nick. No. Or Lee, I should say, so he's going to attack you. Problem. No. It has other problems. Yeah, that's right. He got a two, though. My parry's a two. Well, you're also getting cover from the table. Hooray! So this thing just kind of charges up to the table, puts its claws on, and starts snapping at you as you kind of shuffle back into the table, kicking it away. Nope. Dog, 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 dog. That's him, though. Is there rolling shit? Ah, oh, ooh. No, you're engaged with someone, so he's going to once again attack the illusions. And he's still not going to notice anything. Wait, no, that's the wrong person. <laughs> God, that's even worse. <laughs> As these poor, poor creatures are laying into illusions. It's the last time I put demons up against this group. <laughs> oh, and once again he will try to notice that he is fighting something that is not actually there but he is dumb as hell they all, all they need to do is get a four <laughs> not so simple because <laughs> they're actively interacting with True. illusions I mean, if they can't hit him. <laughs> but it's a lot to concentrate on. It is. Um, Ira, you haven't acted yet. You still have the plus two. But everyone else has gone. Yes? I think you're muted. Maybe? Oh. Hello? 
Oh, wow. So, uh, you haven't acted yet. Uh, alright. Um, I'm gonna just... Uh, I'm gonna get Eerie just to bite the monster closest to in front of her. Uh, the one that's attacking Lee? Yeah. Yep, that's fair. Do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. See, this is where you roll like the twenties again. We're still fighting or on no unarmed? Uh well you should be able to do the unarmed strike. And then click fighting. Hopefully that will work. Beautiful. Their parry is six, so that will hit. So Roll me the d6. Damage can explode. But though in that case, as you just kind of ignore it, it's ankle. Ah, oh, wait, you got a plus two. Mm -hmm. Still won't be enough though, unfortunately. Alright. Is the, is the fighting roll going to a nine? Take it from a success to a raise. A ten would. Ten would, ah, uh, okay. I think a ten or an eight. Uh oh. I need a new card. You need a new card? Yeah, I got a three. Has to be a six or more? Yep. There we go. God, I love that that's just built in. Thingy and Beast just got the black Jerko. Well. Oh no. It was nice knowing you boys. This Two of fun. the a black Jerko and the red Jerko. Oh wow. <laughs> Beans. Yeah, we're dead. Good game, guys. Well, Two the characters next week. They're gonna attack the illusion. <laughs> oh, it's those ones, is it? Yeah. Huzzah. Maybe they'll finally realize. They get plus two? Yep. There we go. Oh no. Oh man. Now I have to put an illusion back? This sucks. Thankfully though. It kind of just swipes through it. And there's this look of realization on its face. Oh. It kind of... 60. Hot. This one... Seeing that... Will kind of go to charge the one in front of him on the left. And see if he can notice through it. With his plus two. Oh, man. But that will be his action. Hey, Lee. Hey. Um, I'm not in a good spot anymore. Give me a spirit roll. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh. That's an eight. Well, you feel a heat starting to course up your body. Uh -huh. And you're feeling your concentration starting to fade. You got the rays, so you can choose to remain or not. No? Oh. No? <laughs> Coward. And Hestia will be in on the next action. Well, these ones do not get the jokers, so they will notice. Nope. God, they need a joker to see anything. Hey, Bo. Hey. Hi. Um, hmm. This is nasty. Um, so first of all, I'm going to have the illusion that's that the other guy ran away from, like, follow up behind them. Yep. Yep. And then 
are going to have the illusion that's with the other two mm -hmm. attempt to use System Shock. Okay. Against the one closest to me. Give me a smarts roll. Uh, and each target affected must make a smarts roll or be shaken. Yep. So they have to make the smarts roll. Yeah, but you have to make a smarts roll to get it to do it. Because <laughs> this is not something you've done before. Oh, oh. This okay. is an illusion interacting with a creature. Gotcha. Yep. Well. Nah, man. <laughs> Gonna use a Benny. Gonna use your Benny? Yeah. What That's fair. This one? Yeah. Alright, roll again. <laughs> That's better. Much better. Okay, so they have to do smarts rolls. Yep. I mean, they're not stupid. I mean, they are, but... Wow. Okay. Wow. You Two ones in a row. Okay. <laughs> so what happens to them? Um, they get shaken. They get shaken? Well, so what does this look like? The illusion just kind of lashes out at them? Um, yeah, basically, like, s swipes, cl like, close to their face. Yeah. But doesn't actually hit them. So it sort of, like, freaks them out, like, oh, I almost took that one. Yeah. So puts them off balance, but it doesn't actually interact with them. Well, they seem to take the hits on the chin as they do a kind of spin in the air. They go. They kind of just fall to the ground, and oh. you kind of see them drool out a little bit. As with the red edgy circles, they just kind of disappear back into it again. Oh. Huh. He he puffs out his chest and like looks proud and looks around at people and then realizes that he's invisible. He's like, <laughs> oh, never mind. Era. Yes, um. It's your turn. Hmm. I... Hmm. There's an almighty fire starting to conjure up from the beneath the table where Lee was. Hmm. Can Ira try and turn into a wolf again? Yep. Spirit roll. Spirit fingers don't let me down. Oh. You can spend a Benny to re-roll that. Spend it. Yep. Reroll. I'm gonna be mad and slower. Oh, woo See, for some reason, when you try to do rerolls in roll twenty, it tends to come up as the same amount or lower. It happened <laughs> on I think it was three separate occasions on Sunday, Nick. But about that, yeah. You turn into a wolf. Yay. Your form just kind of elongates out. Big, massive claws. Big teeth. The ears. And suddenly feeling very hungry. I just leap and attack to the closest one near me. Do it. I mean... That'll hit. Um, roll me a d10 instead. So slash r space d10. In the chat? Yep. Door. Unfortunately, you're just kind of chomping at hide at this point. Unless you want to spend a betty on that as well. <laughs> no, I'm good. You good? All right. Uh, and that one, he's going to try to strike at you. Well, actually, he's kind of curious about the fire. So he's just going to kind of take a swipe at it, but not really do much. He, however, is going to take a swipe at you, Era. And that's going to miss, because of course it is. Are these, like, programs? 
Got a hack stun? Like... Give me a hacking oh. roll. Actually, on your action. That That is a nice fire effect, by the way. Hestia got a glow up. <laughs> An absolute glow up. Hestia getting the Black Jack. Well, the Black Joker. Uh, we see the table explode as Hestia stands up, all aglow and aflame, the beast recoiling from her. For those who haven't seen her, it's an Amazonian woman in kind of brass and copper armor. Her fists of flame and looking very angry. Nick, you have the Black Joker. You can act at any time in the initiative order with a plus two. I punch now. You punch now? Okay. I was going to say, Bo sees this person again and is like, oh no. Hestia got the Black oh, Joker no. anyway. Oh no. That destroyed my doors before. Oh wow. <laughs> Just a seven. Is that enough to hit, or do I have to spend a Benny? That will be enough to hit. Fantastic. Is it a plus two to damage as well? Yeah. Cool. Hestia, <laughs> 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 yeah. waking up, you see yourself surrounded by demons. How do you turn this demon into ash? So it's took swipes at me and actually no I, I'd know that so in return I just rear back a fist set it aflame and just punch at it <laughs> well you strike aiming it. for the skull yeah no you, you strike across the head and there's a kind of spirit of vengeance moment as its head goes aflame before the rest of it is just engulfed in flame and there's nothing but ash and smoke left behind. Ah, uh -uh. excellent sport. Bo! <laughs> How are you doing? Well... Hestia's sudden appearance? Um... Okay, so I'm gonna spend one of my actions. Yup. And I'm gonna do this. Yup. And then, with my other action, I'm gonna make this fella. Oh no. Yep, what do you want to do with him? This fella. That's what you can see my cursor. Yeah. Move move him um like that behind that guy. Yep. Uh and then have the other illusion attack the the, the demon. Yep. Okay, so they have to do a sponsor roll? Yep. Do you make make a spirit roll or Ah uh, you've done it once. It'd be a smarts roll, but you've done it once. Uh, they have to do a smarts roll. They're it's not good at this. Just the one guy. Yeah. I don't think I have the actions otherwise. He did not get a four. Oh, he is shaken. He is gone. Oh. The illusion just kind of grabs him by the shoulders and tosses him aside. And the demon actually goes for a tumble. Before kind of crashing into Hestia and just igniting in flame. Whoa. Uh, Ira. Lee's helping. <laughs> Hestia is also here. Uh... You've met her. She asked about your door. Ira kind of looks over to where the glowing fire. This, the the indoor sun beam that's happening on the <laughs> table there, and she's. I had far too much fun with that effect. She looks. It's like, huh, huh, huh. So he's a god. That's fine. That's that's fine. Totally did not have a god on my door. <laughs> um, here. Um, so there's still one monster left, I'm assuming? Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Um, can... Hmm. 
you know what? Ear just attacks. Attacks? Do it. Attacks. With your big wolfy fangs. Oh, that will be a hit and a raise. So, a d10 and a d6. So, slash. Yep, and then slash high space d10. Perfect! Well, that's enough. <laughs> you leap at it, knocking it to the ground and sending it sliding. Do you tear into its neck, or what does this look like? Yeah, I go for its neck. Straight for the chuckular, and you yes. rip it out. You kind of expect to taste blood or something, but it just kind of explodes into light before hmm. disappearing. Hmm. I have questions for Hex. You have action? You have questions? Mm hmm. Do you say that out loud? Yes. Do you now? Yes, I say that out loud. Oh wait. Hacks? What? As the lights turn back on. God, that's bright. <laughs> He goes, hi! How you doing? It returns back to human? <laughs> Ooh, the temptation to have bows just sort of like walk around the table, like up next to Hacks and just like glare at him while invisible. <laughs> so strong. <laughs> So, I guess one of you has the power of invisibility, then. Say nothing. <laughs> what are you doing, Hestia? Throwing the remains of the table at the two new enemies. <laughs> Fair. Boy, Hestia, <laughs> chill out, mate. <laughs> the table goes flying, and Hex is like, "Whoa!" Pulls the pistol and fires an energy bolt at the table. He still kind of gets hit by the shrapnel of it, and kind of gets knocked to the ground. He goes, "You know what? That's fair." Uh, mighty Godling, mighty God, excuse me. <laughs> We're friends, not foes. I see. What what form are you in, Era? Back to human. I saw that though, didn't I? Yeah. Well, turn to her. And what breed of monster are you? Who birthed you? I mean, harsh, but okay. Do you bear the lineage of Echidna? <laughs> Going deep into the lore there. Jess? Hmm? Hestia's talking to you. Mm. Sorry, you might just have to quickly repeat that. I kind of zoned out a little bit. <laughs> oh, good. What breed of monster are you? Who bred... Who birthed you? Uh, who birthed you? Kronos? What? Uh, so, as they're having this conversation, you can just see Hax just kind of being like, I, I hate dealing with gods. I, I truly Is he, do. Is he trying to direct that at me? No, he's directing it at Thunderchild. Okay, good. Because <laughs> he'd be like, oh no, they can see me. And she's just kind of shrugging. It's like, I'm... this is the first time you dealt with this. You're fine. Like, Bo's gonna, like, shuffle to the side in case Hestia tries to throw more stuff. 
monster, the man over there says he's not our enemy. What of you? I am not your enemy? No, we're all friends here. You have okay. successfully vanquished some of the beasts from Stygia. Would you like to have a seat? What will I do with it? Would you like to sit on the seat? Perhaps. <laughs> Take a rest. Now that you've smashed my table. <sighs> what mockery is this? Uh, Bo, you still maintain those illusions? Um. Yeah. Yeah, all right then. If nothing, it keeps people distracted from trying to find me. That's very Eric true. Slurly makes a way to Thunder Child and Hack. <laughs> Just like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Hi! How we doing? Look. Hacks, did you chuck us in a simulation ship thing? Um. I didn't not not put you in a simulation. Mm. A double negative is a positive. You should know better than to lie to me, Hacks. I didn't lie to you. At what point did I lie to you? Well, I'm Just waiting. <laughs> no, look. I understand, but I wanted the three of you to find something. Well, to know something. We know that we are weirdos. Uh. You're also... And we've got a glowing sun behind us. She just is over to... Yeah. Here. What is with this weak-looking man? <laughs> he appears intangible. X just kind of steps over to Funda Child and is like, Should we tell her? Like... Tell me what? No, just kind of pointed to Hesia, just kind of like... Just, just, should we tell her? Mm. Look, he, they were a uni student beforehand, so look, this is gonna be a lovely little roller coaster ride of knowledge for him. I'm sure it will be. Ugh. I hate dealing with gods. Alright. Do you wish for me to interact? I interacted once with a broken door. They were yelling about a blacksmith. <laughs> The door has not been fixed, by the way. Uh, the repairman is coming today. Yes. No, oh, really, I, I ordered for him. Um. Bo, I know I can't see you right now, and I'm trying not to just turn on the infrared, because I feel that would be insulting. And I know I kind of tricked you to come down here, but if you would be so kind as to take a seat... I would appreciate it. I've been thinking of the answer to this question. <laughs> I make an illusion of myself that is invisible and have the illusion appear as if I'm dropping invisibility <laughs> and sit down. Ah, the student of Hestia appears. No, nope. I'm Hestia. You are Hestia. <laughs> Which one was the witch goddess again? Can like, is there like a different, like, is there like a slight like difference to be able to tell if like what's an illusion, what's actually both? I think he actually purchased perfect illusions. They're very good. Yeah, um, film quality if I remember. <laughs> it's really difficult to tell if they're different or not. You kind of have to interact with them. Someone spent a lot of points to really get the illusion up. Oh yeah. Ira kind of looks at the, looks at, quote unquote, Lee. I mean Bo, and I mean technically quote unquote Lee, but as well. But um, <laughs> she kind of stares at him for a little bit, just, just a bit unnerving that it's actually him. Yeah. Having noticed that there were several, uh. Lee's earlier 
and then Bo just having disappeared. Ah, but this isn't a Lee. This is a Bo. I mean, mm. this is Bo. <laughs> this is absolutely Bo. It's not someone else, I swear it. <laughs> but no, Hax just kind of goes, well, once again, I'm, I apologize about the trickery. Um, Hestia, there was no trick here. I wanted you to fight some demons, just so you can show us all how impressive your fighting prowess is. There is no need to show off. She yeeted our landlord upstairs at one stage. Oh no, I saw her. It was very impressive. And you need to bring us down here to Tesco? Well... He kind of gestures to the giant screen behind him as it turns on. Ah. Um, so. We have a little bit of a problem. As he starts talking, pictures start to appear on the screen behind him of various videos with well, a lot of these you would have seen before of people displaying their powers for various social media accounts and things like that. So, a lot of people are getting powers. This is, um... Unfortunate. So they also had bad pot stickers. <laughs> I don't think it was the pot stickers. Do you think it had something to do with those robots? I absolutely think it had something to do with the robots. Look, not... Not to be creepy or anything, but I have been watching the... Three and a half of you. As he kind of looks to Hestia. And... I think it's kind of obvious to all of you that you also have powers. Some a bit more obviously than others. He's just kind of wincing every time he looks over at Hestia. <laughs> I'm the first of the Olympians. Of course I have powers. He's touching the screen by now. So she's just kind of touching it and kind of figuring out what kind of sorcery is this. You know those videos of like cats watching bird programs? <laughs> Hax is just kind of like, it's an oracle slate, don't worry about it. Ah. Ah, I am familiar with the oracles. <laughs> sure, that works. So, One of them owes me money. Look, I think if the three of you had the potential to be proper superheroes. We've, we've seen a lot in our career. And I, I think the three of you can do it. To be heroes, to save lives, to do what the Lord cannot, and sometimes fix what the Lord does. Bo speaks but says, I'm not much of a fighter. <laughs> Hax just kind of gestures to the screen and displays the fight that's just happened with the illusionary doubles of Lee kind of beating up a fair few of the demons. Oh, and the scrawny man can fight. I mean, yes. Is that me, though? It's not you, but it's an illusion. Yes. You're saying that this wouldn't be helpful? Well, it would be helpful, sure. But I'm not very good at fighting and you don't have to be good at fighting hell i'm not good at fighting i only go I'll... good with a laser pistol because it, out of necessity and i'll the... take your word for it when the child's just like no really he can't throw a punch to save his life neither could i x is just like well there you have it you don't have to be good at fighting to be a superhero. The heroic thing doesn't require 
muscles, although it helps sometimes. He says, just drink to Estia. Oh, just Mental flexing. No, it's. So look. I don't think we've seen the last of those robots. I absolutely think that they're going to be coming back. Okay. More to the point, I think it's only a matter of time. He kind of gestures once again to this very with a half nod, and it switches to what looks like the CTV feed, or a laboratory of some sort. And there are several robots strewn across various work tables. It looks like the inside of a lab. Mm. Many people in lab coats with goggles and other safety equipment are at work on the various pod-like robots, trying to get them to work again. Pax says, So, Era will know this a little bit better than the rest of you. But if they manage to wake up one of those, it's going to be trouble for everyone. Yeah. Each one of those is capable of sending a signal back to... The best way to put it would be their mothership. Hmm. Is there any to stop them from playing with them? I mean... Oh. Are we not deep inland? Uh, we're currently about a kilometer underground. A ship cannot get us here. Well, no. Um, that's... He kind of gestures to the larger room. Um, I kind of want to give this area to <clears throat> you guys. To a degree. Like, we've got to set up equipment and stuff like that as well, but... If you want to use this to help train, because I can tell you now your apartment's not going to survive too much longer, but it's fine. I've bought the building. The, the illusionary bow turns to Hestia. <laughs> yeah. And like raises an eyebrow like, hmm. <laughs> what do you mean that it will not survive much longer? It is my home. It is your home. Assumedly. I mean... Then stop knocking doors off the hinges. I have not knocked any doors off my hinges. <laughs> your hinge. Uh. But the child just says, "Yeah, no, she's got you there." The door was not removed from the hinge, but it was very close. So, here's my proposition. I'll give you this space. I can get you whatever equipment you want or need. More to the point, I'm me, Thunderchild, Aurora, when she gets back from Troll. We're happy to train you. Because anyone can be... Anyone can have powers. Or anyone has the potential to have powers. But to kind of be super heroic takes something else. And the three of you have already proven that you fought and dealt with six demons a good half dozen you were outnumbered and you handled them well not a single one of you got even injured bows illusion just sort of like nods in agreement <laughs> wrong i have fought demons for aeons they were of little concern well because here's my issue. This this thing with the government, because I'm pretty sure it's the government, is only half the issue. Thanks, Knuckles. He clicks his fingers and the image changes to what looks like the same building, but this time it's two guys kind of in the same room. One of them is looking very bored just kind of throwing a ball against the wall and then catching it. 
while level one is just pouring over a computer. <sighs> so, that's two superheroes in the same building where they're doing the tampering. Um, ah. I've identified them as right in front and locked down. They're two of your locals. If we try to break in and destroy the robots, they're absolutely going to try to stop us. Okay. Do you promise? <laughs> I mean... Can we try not kill one robot? I mean, they've got a good dozen or so robots in there. I'm just thinking, maybe we can... If we manage to keep one robot, we might be able to ping the location of the money mothership. Yeah, mmm. Because I... the robot I have back at my apartment is dying. Yeah, no, they all should be dying. But they've got teams of scientists working on these. The problem is, if we ping them, they might ping us back. No. And we might have the mothership approaching Earth. And this would be a problem for you. Not... Mm. 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 <laughs> what if there was a way you were slowly suggest that we give it off random pings that don't seem to double back. You mean kind of like a VPN? Yes. I mean, it, that's not a bad idea. We can do that. It's kind of what I'm doing already. I'm blocking the signal, but we can try to have, if they manage to activate it, we can try to have it bounce from other locations. Other locations on the planet or other locations in the galaxy and the galaxy that's Let much better than other locations on earth yes i've got a friend who can live in space ah, that's how <laughs> surprisingly okay. comes up more often than i would like hmm. okay what if we so we track the location by putting it in different locations across the galaxy with different pings coming from it, but it's not being directed to Earth, but we are aware of where the mothership is. I mean, hopefully. I'm hoping it's not even in this dimension yet. Mm, I slightly doubt that. <sighs> I have completely lost track of this conversation and I grow <laughs> bored. Uh, give me a spirit roll, Hestia. Growing very bored. Do I get so bored I change back? Yep. Wow. <laughs> Rip. Hestia out. <laughs> <laughs> the flames, we just kind of, Hestia says that, and the flames start to die out. And as they die out, the her body just kind of falls away, turning to ash, and what's left behind is Lee in the chair. Uh, Lee, you, uh, you wake up <laughs> in a chair, and Hax is like, hey, hey buddy, how you doing? I'll be real with you, this is like the second time this has happened to me, and I'm starting to grow concerned. It's a medical issue, so I'll leave <laughs> you with that one, Aero comments. Alright. And she just watches the glowing sun become Lee again. Uh, look, Lee, you're a university student. You're, you're a pretty smart guy. Sure. Alright. Um, not his last, not with his last grades, is it not? What? <laughs> What? 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 I mean, distinctions aren't too bad. <laughs> anyway, I'm a are you major. are you aware of quantum entanglement? 
I've heard of it, yes. So... This is great to wake up to. Yeah, I know. Uh, see if you can follow me here. There's, there's the theory of the multiple universes. So, mirror universes, every action creates a new universe, right? Sure. Alright. So, there are beings that exist in some of these dimensions that don't exist in others. Okay. So, there's a theory that suggests one of these worlds is filled with gods, or what we would call gods. Sure. So, sometimes, something happens that entangles two worlds into one. Okay. This is usually pretty temporary, but this is how dimensional travel usually works. You follow me? I'm, I'm with you so far. Okay, so these gods aren't 100% physical. They're somewhat energy as well. That's how they can do a lot of what they do. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they get entangled with normal people. Okay. I start looking at Era <laughs> like, real questioningly. Oh no, you don't need to look at her. Her genetics are whack. But... Okay. Not as wacky as yours, my bird. Stop looking at Bo. He goes over behind the screen thing and then comes back with what looks like a um a giant glass mirror. Uh huh. It sets it up on the table, kind of connects it into the table, and then turns it on. Lee, looking back at you from the mirror is Hestia. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just said it so neat mirror. Uh, so, uh, Lee, um, you're currently sharing your body with a god. You've lost me. This is a quantum mirror, so it shows interdimensional travelers. He kind of puts his hand in front of it, and you see that his hand is kind of glowing in the reflection. So you're a god. I'm not a god. I'm just from a different dimension. This is kind of a lot to take in. It, no, look. That's absolutely fair. It is a lot to take in, but... You're kind of getting introduced to the whole world of superpowers and things get really weird really quickly. So, okay. So, you're from another dimension. We're from another dimension. You're from another dimension. Yep. And in another dimension, I'm hot. Gotcha. I mean, Hestia's on fire, I guess. Ha 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 ha, sure. More to the point, you're currently in- your quantum signature is currently entangled with Hestia. Hmm. Okay. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? There. I mean, I'll be real, this explains a few things. <laughs> I'd like to think so. Definitely explains the burning bed. And the random blackouts. Yeah. Uh, I, I used to have a friend who was in a similar situation. Um, instead of your um situation where it was kind of a blackout, uh, she got powers from the god side. But the god side was never really conscious. Big. We have actually known a couple of beings like you. It can be a sweet deal. Okay. It can be. Okay. But here's a part of my offer. If you want to stay, well, stay in the apartments, that's fine. But if you want to train to be superheroes, to do the superhero thing, then I can help you all understand your powers better. Why you can do what you can do, what caused it. I mean, I would like to 
understand this a lot better. Uh, you can probably go to the government, and they'll do their best to explain things to you, but they don't know what's going on. Makes two of us. I don't 100% know either, but I've... Where I'm from, there's hundreds, thousands of superheroes. It's a similar situation to what you're experiencing now, but we've had it for hundreds of years. Cool. Oh. 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 I hate it. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, and your world is going to have to adapt very quickly. And even with Ira's good plan of bouncing the signal across various worlds, I'm still kind of concerned we're going to have to end up fighting aliens. Mm. So the more the world is prepared, the better. I hate everything. <laughs> Look. On the bright side, Lee. I think, well, for the time being, you're immortal. Okay. If you're going to come to injury, Hester's going to just jump in instead. Hmm. It kind of comes with, you know, sharing your body with an energy being. That's convinced I'll... it's a god. Sure, I'll take it. I mean... So, Hesty is not really a god, just someone who's just an over-empowered human being that thinks it's a god? Um... It's kind of the whole thing of... Any technology significantly advanced enough is indistinguishable from magic. Hmm. Look, Bo, you, you... Bo tilts his head a bit at the mention of magic. <laughs> Right, you have enough power, you have enough magic, then what is to distinguish you from a god? If you can't die, sorry, if you don't age, can't die, you can throw lightning bolts, walk like a god, talk like a god. <laughs> mm. They're not, but there's not much in the way of evidence to say otherwise. I think I get it. So, Era, are you on board with this? Yeah. Yeah? She shrugs. More of a, hmm, I guess if I have to, I have to. I mean, you don't have to. But, the same point. If you want to test how far your powers can really go. Oh yeah. Turn into a cooler dog. A cougar dog? A cooler dog. A cooler dog. Under child's just like, um, Staffies are fine. My childhood dog was a Staffy. He just stares at Thunder Child. <laughs> so And Bo, <laughs> he hacks turns to the illusion. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure that's only fifty percent chance that's actually you. Okay. Um, you on board with this? At least for now. I always thought that it was just my magic getting better, but. I guess this kind of makes more sense. I hadn't really made much progress, so... I guess if I can further my abilities, sure. Further your abilities? Look, further your abilities and powers is just the start of it. We're looking at saving the world. <laughs> Down the track. Down the... Ah, oh, that's... I mean couple of questions about saving the world, quote-unquote. Go for it. Why should we? Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. Why should we save the world? 
Honestly, it's better than the what would happen. And uh, what would happen? You have an entire population of humans who have superpowers. Mhm. Mm what could be worse than that? They can destroy themselves, which doesn't really seem to be an us issue. Just as to Liam Bow's Bow, I mean, she kind of assumes she's still <laughs> unsure and to herself. Hax kind of goes, "Okay, I'll I'll show you what's worse." He turns to the screen. And it shifts and moves. What you see is a, a hellscape. Not of fire and brimstone, but of storm clouds, darkness, wrecked cities. So, this is a drone shot of where these robots come from. They come from an earth. A different one to ours, but it's where like they come from. Like an alternate universe? Exactly. The drone continues and eventually gets to, well, scenes from the Matrix, kind of, with large spires with robots going up and down them. Robots. Going to and fro. I think I've seen this movie. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is actually very similar to that movie, but in this one, there's no humans left. They're all well, the dead. The machines won. The machines won, essentially. Ah. Uh, you tell me some random machines destroyed a human population with superpowers. Well, this specific Earth didn't have the same amount that where I'm from does, but similar numbers, similar resistance. They were less organized. Well, that doesn't look like a particularly fun place to live. Nope. Yeah, Summer seems like a bitch over there. So, this is saving the world. This is stopping it from becoming that. Stopping this earth from becoming that. Because I've been there. It's not good. So. Fair enough then. A lot of this. A argument. Look, a lot of this is. Being a superhero is great. It's, it's glory. It's people's adulation. I personally don't so much get that, but. Wonder Child kind of starts walking back. She gets a lot more of the adulation than I do, and that's fine. I I know my place. I know my place on a super team. But this is also what it's about. It's about saving the world from disaster. And I know this is a lot to take in. Honestly, I do. It's not a lot to take in. It's more questioning, more like. Humans kind of already destroyed this earth, so it's like a. Uh... Yeah, but we also live here. Yeah, no, I... that's the other thing. This is where you keep your stuff. And I before you say, yourself. and before you ask the question, do I have a seat on the dimensional ship to get us out of here? Regrettably, no. The drive that I used to um get us here has been butchered to stop the robots from coming here immediately. But they're still gonna somehow end up here at some point. I currently have a signal blocker going. That's currently pushing through multiple dimensional barriers. Okay, and what if your signal blocker doesn't work anymore? Well... <sighs> here you I... have something that helps counteract the ping? I mean, you saw the amount of coding that goes into each of these drones. Okay, what if we manage to, you know, deconstruct one of these drones and then create a massive satellite deepener 
Well, it's something we can definitely start working on, but that will take time. I can do all sorts of weird and wonderful things with technology, but I can't make it out of nothing. That's where I come in, buddy. <laughs> well, I'd be happy to get your help on it, and we can start building a lab to do that. But until that time, or while we work on it, I can help train you to be superheroes. I'm down. Yep. Bo? Well, I mean, I don't really want to end up like that place. Each sort of motions at the <laughs> TV is like, so yeah, sure. Someone needs some more gigs, apparently. I don't need gigs if everyone's dead, do I? Well. <laughs> There's always mirrors. I will say, though, bro, if... <laughs> Look, if you want to be a public superhero. What? What? As in being a magician superhero, that is an option. You can use this whole superhero thing to enhance your career. Ah, uh, a bit cheating. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you're not wrong. But at the same point, you're still a great magician. You have a lot of showmanship. Well, I mean, I've been working on it, so that's fair, but I feel like, yeah, no, I don't want to use, I don't want to have a super persona that I use to, like, publicize my, my sh performances. Oh, like, that's fair. Okay. So, all three of you are in? Yeah. Alright. Well, look, I know you're saying that you're in. But, go away. Well, not go away. Go and have it's... a think about it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm not used to communicating with people too much. Go and have a think about it. Um, if you reconsider, let me know. But if you're, if you're all in on this, that's awesome. We can start working out superhero names and the costumes and I can do a danger room type of thing. I'm I w sorry, wait, there's costumes? I mean, yeah. Bunchell's like, yeah! Costumes is a half of the good parts. She kind of just poses in her superhero outfit. I'll stick to my getup, thank you. Max is like, look, um... I must admit, I was the same way for quite a while. It eventually got to a stage where it's... It's not so much a costume as a uniform. We stand out so the civilians can get away. But, then again, you turn into a wolf, so... <laughs> a wolf, a dog, a duck. So... I'm not going to argue with that. But, like I said, go, have a think about it. It's it's a lot. Yep. And the three of you are my first choice. Okay. I could go to some of the more established superheroes in the, in, around here, in this country, in the world, and I probably will, but it's a matter of trust. And I trust the three of you a lot more than I trust someone I don't know. But I will leave you with that. And speaking of, I will end it there for the session. That is where I will leave it tonight. So, how is everyone? Yay! I got to use my <laughs> illusions. I turned into a staffy. You did turn into a staffy. I found out I'm a god. You did find out you're a god. This is what I love about these kind of origin games. It's like, not just the slow evolving powers, it's just kind of like, oh wow, I'm even more screwed up than I thought I was. <laughs> Thank you. Great. I thought I was just weird. It's great. It's <laughs> fine. I thought these were pot stickers. 
anyway, I will be with, back with you all of you in just a minute. I'm just going to close out the stream. Mm. So, another stream down, or another session down. Our heroes are slowly discovering more and more of their powers. But with a potential disaster on the horizon of some sort of cybernetic invasion of alien robots from another dimension. Oh god, that's a sentence. We'll see whether our heroes will be up to the task under the training of more seasoned superheroes. But how's the rest of the world going to respond when all of a sudden they start getting powers? Or well, we started to see the marks of it, but villains always full of heroes, so... But... That is something for later. Till then, my name is Matthew. This has been the Breakford Incident for Savage World Supers from Pinnacle Entertainment Group. And if you enjoy this, you can catch me on Twitter, communicate from me there. Feel free to subscribe. Also, the VODs for this are starting to go up. The session one VOD is already up. But otherwise, Tune in next week at 7.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time where we will be back again playing. But until then, have a good week. And remember, we are the storytellers. <laughs>